365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each day. No fears. Written by Vanessa Pizzuto. Greetings and welcome to today's devotional reading titled Ministerial Envy. Today is June 11th, 2022, and the Lord is ready to speak to you today. But first, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we open up our hearts as we listen to your word. May your spirit reveal to us the realities of your word and nurture our hearts to conform to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's Bible text is found in Mark chapter 9, verse 38, and it says, Now John answered him, saying, Teacher, we saw someone who does not follow us casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow us. One of my radio colleagues gets a lot more comments and calls from listeners than I do. At first, I was envious of his success. God had to work in my heart to stop me from comparing myself to him. And there are still days when he must remind me that we are part of the same team. Ministerial envy is insidious. Unlike common envy, this variety makes us believe that our motives are pure that we care about protecting and advancing God's cause. While Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration, his disciples tried to cast out a demon from a mute boy, but were not able to do so. Mark chapter 9, verses 14 through 19. Jesus found them arguing with the scribes and a great multitude. It must have been an embarrassing event for the disciples. Later, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone who does not follow us casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow us. Mark chapter 9, verse 38. John felt ministerial envy. How did this man who was not part of their group, dare to do precisely what they couldn't? Jesus then gave him a simple and profound answer. He who is not against us is on our side. Mark chapter 9 verse 40. In other words, you are part of the same team. People who are sure of their unconditional value based on God's love are free to affirm the gifts of others without feeling threatened or inferior, affirms Rebecca Koniendick, de Jong in Glittering Vices. They are free to love without the anxiety that their contributions will be compared to those of others or found wanting. They can rejoice on their own talents and those of others. Ministerial envy leads us to be saddened by those who rejoice and to rejoice with those who are saddened. However, God calls us to the freedom of his abundance. As the Heritage Singers song says, plenty of room in the family, room for the young and the old. We belong to the same team. We are allies. With this in mind, Let us pray. Dear Lord, I don't want to criticize or envy anyone's professional success or ministries. I have an important role to play. Please help me to be faithful and give up comparisons. Anyone who loves and serves in your name is my ally. Your team is bigger and more diverse than I could imagine. Thank you for giving me the privilege of being a part of it. Amen.